Wagwan people, welcome back to another video. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you are, wherever you are. Thank you for tuning in to another video. Happy Christmas week if you celebrate Christmas. If you don't, happy Monday. Hey, I know you see it from the thumbnail and the title of this video. Red flags for women. As you may have noticed, I am a bit unqualified to speak on this topic because I'm not a woman. I took to social media to ask my female counterparts, what are some red flags when searching for a partner? I got some very interesting answers. Disclaimer, I'll not be disputing any of these red flags. I'll just be stating them and putting some mild comments. Very mild. The first one comes from Simply on a Journey and it goes, he talks about himself. What do you mean? There are a lot of women who like when men talk about themselves. Do you mean he speaks too much? Or he talks over you? Could be a situation where, you know, you go to him and say, babe, I want to start a business. And then he brings the conversation to himself and say, yeah, I've been wanting to start a business for a long time. I think it's that one. That's what you mean. He always inserts himself in the conversation when the conversation is not about him. So fellas, take note from Simply on a Journey. We probably should do a collab just to clarify if my assumption of he talks about himself is right. Talking bad about their ex or women in general. Yeah, fellas, we tend to do this. I'm not even excluding myself. We tend to do this a lot when we're in a breakup. I guess it's to get sympathy from our prospective partners. We tend to talk trash about our exes to make ourselves look better. We should stop. It's unattractive. According to the women, it is very unattractive. We should not do this. Red flag number three. No problem solving skills. Fellow males. Said by a woman. A woman wants a man who can solve problems and not bring problems to the table. So we should have our solution mode. I have something that's called solution mode. When faced with an obstacle, with adversity, I try to find my way out the best way possible i guess that's what they want they want problem solving skills from our young men take note guys take your notes moving on to point number four no conflict resolution skills that also falls on the solution mode i mean we shouldn't be the ones to want to quarrel guys quarreling is not for us let's leave that to i'm, I, I'm not gonna say it but yeah no conflict resolution skills we should be able to say hey you know you mad me mad i go and talk to you so we no mad no more right so conflict resolution skills develop them they're coming handy trust me poor hygiene girls love it when we're clean and they love it especially when we smell good invest in a very expensive cologne or a cologne that works for you lack of listening skills I believe that everybody is guilty of a lack of listening skill at some interval or point in their lives. But hey, young men, the women like when we listen to them. According to them, they like when we listen to them. And not just listen to say something, not just listen to react, but listen and respond to what is being said or listen to hear what they are saying. As told by the women, they like when men listen to them. So practice some active listening. Number seven. Women don't like men with God complexes. Yeah, women don't like men with God complexes. I guess a God complex is when you behave as, a, as though you are flawless, you are infallible. And um, yeah, you're just on your high horse and nothing can knock you down. And um, you are better than everyone else. And uh, you are a God. I hope I didn't blaspheme there. And the final one for today. Men who can't express themselves through writing. Yeah, I mean, it's sad if you cannot express yourself correctly when you're typing a text or especially on social media. It's a turn off for women. I meant to read some books, get your vocabulary up get a better command of the english language because the ladies like when we can express ourselves through writing it's a red flag so let's just go ahead and recap on the red flags we have courtesy of uh, 
simply on a journey business page coming to you soon he talks about himself and i am assuming that that means he talks about himself he inserts himself where he should not be inserted where he should be listening and i see a lot of these things just tie into each other um some of these were courtesy of uh fumi Kohli at fumi Kohli. you can go ahead and follow them check them out on instagram and some of these were courtesy of let's go swimming swim and things i'll have their handle right down here they have very lovely bathing suits there for all you ladies out there watching and for all you guys who wants to buy a bathing suit or your significant other you can go ahead and check them out based in montego bay and portland uh thank you and shout out to you shout out to add fumikoli shout out to add simply on a journey and you heard it here that was our eight red flags for women when choosing a partner and i want to thank you for tuning in i want to ask you to go ahead and like share and subscribe if you have not done so already and hey it's the week of christmas if you celebrate that i want to wish you prosperity and safety in this time and I'll see you guys in my next video.